Hello guys, Zul'jin here and welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I want to thank y'all so much for the amazing support on the channel. Guys, as always, if you do enjoy the videos, give me some dap on that like button to show you support and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. I think I might have found a version of Paradise. So it's nighttime right now, so it's not as pretty, uh, but in the daytime, the sky is all blue and the greens are amazing like it's very very lush planet um not a whole lot going on here unfortunately like there's not an incredible amount of um of interesting anomalies but i think that's one one of the reasons is we're only on an m class planet now i've been going using my um my warp reactor sigma I've been going to as many as of the uh, of the M class planets as I can to try to get my survival level up because that's where I'm limited with the anomalies right now. Uh, Polo will not give me uh, any more technology without that, so I have to go to harsher planets, I guess, to um, to raise my survival level. And for some reason, it doesn't go up. But I had a huge problem getting an upgrade for the um, the. I guess you can call it the hyperdrive, uh, the warp reactor uh, towel. So the warp reactors are what kind of gives you the ability to unlock different types of star systems. They're like, they're locked around a certain type of reactor. It just doesn't have to do with distance, although they do increase the amount of distance that you can go. Uh, it's not necessarily uh, something that's just distance based. So I'll show you what I mean. First, I want to uh, I want to go ahead and install this. Now, I was having a problem getting this reactor blueprint. I did grab it a couple times, but it wasn't showing up in my list. So what I kept doing is going to look for spaceships, the the crash spaceships, and I finally fi uh, finally found um, a blueprint that actually stuck. So I think I have the theta as well, but it doesn't show up. So I think I'm gonna have to look for the theta as well. Anyway. Let's go ahead and build it. I've been for <laughs> I've been forming materials quite a while uh, in order to get the amount of nickel and aluminum that I need. Um, so now we have it installed, and from what I know, you need all of them to um, to actually install uh, to go to the fourth one. So I can't take away my sigma just because I have the tau, uh, which is kind of weird. And let's see, will it give me the ability? No, you see, it does not give him the ability uh, to craft the theta. So. The theta, I guess I'm gonna have to find again, which is which is fine by me. But I do want to check this place out right before I leave, just in case there's something important I missed. And I really wish it would be daytime so that you guys can see. But I've been waiting quite a little while and it hasn't turned. I guess I could go around the uh, the planet a little bit until it actually turns, huh? Let's see what this guy has to say. Okay, Captain who? Jagrasuk. <laughs> Jagras. I'm glad. Uh, oh no, Rusk. Jagurusk. There we go. That's better than Jagrasuk. Uh, the second the trainer goes to greet me, it becomes covered from head to foot with arcs of electricity. The blue sparks fade, and it grabs the lapels of my exosuit as if possessed. It screams at me, wide-eyed desperation. I feel like there's a 99 percent probability that the frantic motions it's making towards the products I carry in an indication what it wants. Um, I'm guessing you probably want... Let's do plutonium because I can get that relatively easy. Trader returns to normal and his stares blankly. I got a shield boost sigma which was already known. Womp womp. No big deal. Uh, ooh. Hazard protect... Oh, I already knew that. Uh, that's the regular old virus suit? Um, that's kind of weird. Hazard protection shielding unit. Our that was like the basic blueprint. I don't know. Sometimes this game gives me stuff I really don't understand. But it's okay. It is time to explore the next planet. I am going out the wrong door. Uh, so yeah, I don't guess it's going to turn. It's a little bit day. Ah, uh, you can kind of see the greens now. I'm very glad I did that. Look at how gorgeous, man. And when I get in my ship, you'll be able to see too, like, there's these, like, tendrils, these rock tendrils that go all along the planet, and there's trees that are covering them. It's by far probably the most beautiful planet that I've visited so far, and I went to quite a bit. Um, most of it was just trying to figure out a little bit about getting that, um, that upgrade, because it just did not want to, um, 
it did not want to install that blueprint no matter how many times I received it and it's a it's an ongoing bug like I looked it up quite a bit um, and it looks like there's a bunch of complaints about the same thing so uh, and anyway let's take oh what is that it's a turtle uh, kind of it's a turtle dog it's a turtle dog <laughs> hold on Come back over here. I want to take a good look at you. It is a turtle dog. Oh my gosh. It looks weird, man. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Yep, yeah, you guys are definitely weirdos. <laughs> Very cool. All right. So I didn't scan. I haven't been scanning a whole lot just because it takes it takes time and I know it gives me money but you can get so much money doing what I was doing last episode that scanning just seems to be an afterthought now alright let's go into the atmosphere or out of the atmosphere I should say so um, there also there's a patch that's gonna be coming out for PC that's supposed to help optimize it uh, and if you guys that have been noticing the sluggish performance in my video I have a pretty beastly computer I mean it's not the best money can buy anymore um, but it's pretty good I could probably use a RAM upgrade and I could probably get the next GTX uh, 1080 or whatever to make it a little bit faster but right now I mean it's it's pretty much over any minimum requirements and usually uh, above the recommended settings or recommended requirements of um, of any game that I've been playing uh, Arc naturally was pretty unoptimized uh, and this seems to be on PC as well. So anyway, let's check it out. If if we go to the map here, so look closely, guys. This is a red colored star. Let me see if I could get really really close. So that is a red colored star. I know it's kind of hard to tell in the orange with the orange background, but you can see the difference pretty significantly. Like this is a yellow one. Now there are also greens or blues and purples and let me see if I could find one of those that's a yellow this is another red now you can make out that it's red because of the glow and you see how it says class M so if you go to a yellow star it's gonna be class F and that's almost everything that I've taken on the path is class F but the class M planets and I think they have class K as well in red kind of give you the different environments the, the the it's almost like a the next tier of planets and then if we go one step further this is yellow I really have to find one of those other type stars and it's gonna have to be good there's one alright you see the different hue on that one watch when I click over it it says oh it says hyperdrop has no fuel but that class is O so let's go ahead and back out of here. Uh, I wonder if I can walk. Um, actually, let's set a waypoint. Can I set a waypoint to that? It doesn't look like it. Okay, I did set a waypoint. Good. That way I can just go back to it. All right. Okay. So this is this is an O-class planet. First time I've ever been to one of these, you guys. So this should be pretty interesting. What kind of uh? Kind of minerals we got down here. Hope it's not too stuttery. Oh my gosh, it is. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. There's really nothing I can do about it when it's that stuttery. What kind of material is that? It looks pretty neat. I hope this is a planet with the uh, the sac venom on it. That would be really awesome. That looks like all heridium. I don't see any um, any establishments either. Not establishment. I guess <laughs> that's a bad word for it. Um, I guess I should say buildings, just in general. But I don't see anything yet. All right, let's go a little further towards this question mark and see what we got here. That's something. I wish I could look down a little bit better. But it doesn't look like I can. Alright, let's go down and see what we got. Let's see what kind of conditions we're in. Huntail Badlands. Intense dust is the weather. Low security. 
Huh. Alright. Pretty interesting. Um, there's an intergalactic trade terminal right here? Really? Just in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, you sell anything special? You sell Radnox, which is pretty cool. I think I should sell the Radnox that I do have. Because it's just taking up room right now. They sell for 316 a piece. You only get about six or seven of it though when you um when you harvest it. They're pretty rare. All right, so we cleared out a little bit of room, but nothing major here. Let's go ahead and collect some of the loot. Nothing. A shielding plate. Oh no! <laughs> I don't think we need this dadgum shielding plate. Or yeah, none of that. Power canister. Oh, that was trash. Well, not much we can do here. I guess we should venture out a little bit further and see if we can find anything else. Maybe we should go to the um maybe we should go to the big planet now and then if we still don't see anything there, we'll go to the anomaly and see what's going on. It's pretty dead gum orange. <laughs> All right, well, the water looks earthy. I guess that's what I was seeing. The plants look a little bit alien. There, there is, sure is a lot of water. This is like an ocean planet, I guess. I did dismantle the, uh, the underwater unit because I had traveled quite a little bit in the water and didn't see any space to justify, didn't see any reason to justify the space that I was using. All right, I'm just gonna find the building here and land. Really hoping to find a planet with sac venom. All right, let's let's take a, a dive down here because I just saw one of those waypoints. Not the waypoints, but the unlocks. What the heck is that? It's all on my ship, whatever it is. Get off my ship, man. Okay, we're going to need a bypass chip for this. It's extreme, again. Uh, let's see. What are those? Life support power. No. I guess, wow. Look how weird those things look. Temperament sedative. Those are wild looking, man. And these are like little bats. Whoa, oh, that's a sentinel. Oh, the sentinels are bad, mad on this planet. I didn't even notice. Thank you. Dang, man. This is a rough place. Uh, I still need... Hold on, let me just use this power canister. I know there's another one. Bypass chip, that's what I wanted. Can I... Oh, reload. I was like, why isn't it firing? There we go. Alright, can I use this really quickly? I know, radiation protection is falling. Okay. Um, let's do transmission. Hostiles approaching. Beacon. Warning. It's they shooting me while I'm <laughs> Damn. This place. Alright, we going, we going, we going, we going. We are gone. Alright. Man, this is kind of intense, you guys. Kind of intense. Alright, we'll be there in 15 seconds and we'll see what's going on. So this is a crazy planet. So far, <laughs> it's kind of wild. I wonder what's at the beacon. Hopefully it tells us where a downed ship is. Because sometimes you could get some really good tech from those. It would be very, very nice to find um, 
one of the uh, one of the warp things, the fatal warp things. All right, let's see here. Now, I know the Sentinel forces deactivated or ran away from them. There we go. Hopefully, it'll give me enough time without me getting attacked to show me <laughs> a distress signal. And advanced life form detected. Oh boy, it didn't give me much time, did it? Wow, it's really, really quick. Let's also, I want to scan to see. There is some green here. This is how you can tell when there's like a rare material. But I don't see, I don't see what it is. There's another one right here. Or some more right here, I should say. What is it? Is it Callium? It is Callium. Burnt. I've seen plenty of that stuff before. Okay. Planet's not super duper. Oh, no fuel and launchers? Alright, no problem. We'll have to get some plutonium too next time we land. Cool. <laughs> it gets the radiation gets even worse, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's go see that advanced life form and see what's going on. Radiation I know, baby. I know it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Okay, let's get inside. All right. All right. I wish you would just hush and let me uh, talk to the attendant here. Um, let's see. Exosuit. Let's go ahead and move stuff to the starship. Okay, partner. <laughs> he looks kind of weird, huh? <laughs> he got those wide eyes. Okay. The trader's finger shows on its pad and the noise of crunching gears can be heard from inside it. Its lower beak drops open and a green bubble in the end of rare silicate antenna emerges. The green light focused on my visor where a holographic image of charging device appears. The green bulb flashes while it speaks in the language of the traders. It seems to assume I am a friend. Report strange behavior. Detach silicate antenna. Give isotope 200 plutonium. Let's do give 200 plutonium. I receive a gift. Its secret identity is secured. <laughs> what? <laughs> Deflection enhancement theta. Okay, I did not have that, so that's actually really, really good. Um, that's going to give me the Starship Energy Shield, which is really good. Really, really good. Okay. What can we buy from here? Anything awesome? We can buy aluminum and stuff. That's pretty cool. Um... Anything that we want to sell? Let's sell this Callium. Okay. And... Nickel and aluminum. I don't think we need a whole bunch of that yet, but let me see. If I wanted to craft one of the things that I just got, the deflector enhancement Tau. I already got the Tau version of it. Deflector enhancement. Theta, we would need, we need to keep that emerald though for the theta version of the, um, we need 300 zinc anyway, Without good lord. Stone yeah, the theta version of the, uh, the warp, uh, drive is what, is what I'm saving up all that emerald for. Okay. Yeah, and we should be able to find it soon. Oh, night radiation now too, huh? Power canisters. Shielding shards. Look at the trash. I'm going to sell all that right quick. <laughs> Just get rid of it. Alright. Sell items. Power canister. Shielding shard. And fascination beads. 
I'm not worried about how much I get for him. That's fine. All right. Uh, this is a guy we can talk to. A trade envoy. Hmm. Let's see what he's got. If he's got anything interesting. We can buy... And we can sell... I know stuff's attacking me too. Uh, he's got 27 slots, 4.7 million. Alright, look. You know what? You're dead. Where did he go? I guess underneath? <laughs> they just fall right through, I guess. Alright, it's deactivated. It's deactivated. Okay, so since we can't find anything really, really special here, I guess we'll go check out another planet. Um, you know what? Let's go to the Anomaly instead. Let's go to the Anomaly and see. We've already been to ex two extreme planets, and it has not given us the, um, the next deal, so I really don't know. Alright, guys. I figured out how to get upgrades in survival levels so it's kind of weird I, I had to read a little bit on it and there was a few articles that I read in reddit and what it looks like is basically you have to go to a planet with extreme conditions such as this one uh, this is a cold weather planet that I found you can see the temperature is negative 104.4 Celsius um, and you can actually stay indoors for the duration you don't need to be outside um, but basically what happens is if you go to this level here, Journeys, and you look at your achievements, you'll see that it's, you, you uh, let's see where it's at. There it is, Spirited, survived 8.6 souls in extreme conditions, next milestone in 3.4 souls. So time has to just pass here. Um, it's it's kind of it's kind of sad because basically I just went eat out <laughs> while this thing was charging up. Now, all right, is that an, that's all the information I need right now? Thank you. Um, so the life support system, dang girl, hush. The la the uh, the life support system uh, will slowly tick down as well. So I added a couple modules just to make it go so I wouldn't have to check it in time. And I've probably been letting it go for about an hour. And um, I was like, maybe maybe one third down, maybe 30% down. And it was pretty good. So if you want to raise your survival level, that's the way to do it. So now we should be able to go to um, the um, Polo and get the upgrade. And I think that's probably going to be the Atlas Pass V2. If I had to guess, that's what it would be. Another thing is I found the next uh, blueprint for uh, my drive augments here. So let me see if I go to store ship and how do, what do I move here? I know I have a Gravitino ball here. They all have to be connected from what I understand. And you can see I have warp reactor theta ready to go, but I need three dynamic resonators. Um, I might even be able to get that here. So, yeah, it's it's like, I think what happened with, as far as the bug is I received the Theta before and the Tau before I had the Sigma. So, well, before I made the Sigma, I guess. So I had to get them in order. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, anyhow, I got it again and um, and now it's working fine. So I'm pretty much ready to go. Anyway, let's check out the trade terminal and see if I could buy a couple of those things. I know I can make them. My items from Galactic Trade Network. Okay, it looks as though I cannot buy them here. Okay, I know I could probably do it from another place, uh, but that's okay. Let me try to craft them actually. So what do we need here to craft it? We need microdensity fiber and antimatter. We don't have any antimatter for antimatter. We need uh, Heridium. So I should just be able to get some Heridium and make this happen. Let me form up the resources right quick for this, you guys. Uh, we'll be back to craft it and see where we can go. All right, folks. I ended up coming to a space station because the material cost for the dynamic resonators was pretty crazy. But I just bought a bunch of them. Uh, you can see here. Uh, here. 
<laughs> I just bought a few dynamic resonators. So now all I have to do is craft this thing. Oh, reactor theta. All right. And from what I understand, you need all four of them, and they all need to be lined up. Uh, so a lot of people would say, why didn't you upgrade your ship before you did this? And honestly, without the in insane cost for these things, I have plenty of room. <laughs> well, maybe not with the Atlas Stones, but I can keep adding to my own inventory for expansion. And I'm pretty happy with the size of my ship. So I don't know how much more of these I'm going to be able to do. I have 2.2 million. Another ship is not out the question, but I'm pretty happy with the size of my ship. For the cost, I mean, some of the upgrades that I saw were pretty cool. Uh, like 10 more slots, but it was like 8 more million. <laughs> Something like that. So, that was a little bit too high for me. Anyway, I should be able to get anywhere I want now uh, in the galaxy. So, what I should probably do is see about my last minute upgrades. I have a boost sigma here. Uh, if I go to... Let's see, what can I get? for not my exosuit that's not what I want starship I should be able to get I thought I had a, a better deflection system maybe I was wrong exosuit we are in starship now that's another thing I could have sworn oh this is deflection deflection enhancement theta but it only has shield plus one that's kinda weird uh, I can make it with enough zinc, but it's probably going to take me a little while to get that much zinc. So this is, what, a sigma? Uh, no, that's a tau. Actually, that's not that bad. Um, how about exosuit upgrades? What do we have for that that we really need? We've got upgrades. We've got pretty much everything to protect us from all environments except water. And as little as we go in water, to tell you the truth, it's not worth keeping the inventory slots taken up. And as far as multi-tool, I mean, we can enhance the bolt caster out with some damage here. But that's probably about the the most that we can do. Um, recall stabilizer. I still never got the homing bolts, but I can't find those aquaspheres. I actually saw one for sale a little while back. Uh, and when I do talk to the merchants, I do uh, to see if they have... Well, most of the time I check it out. Uh, let's see, for instance. We'll check this guy and see if he has... Um, the aquaspheres and also see how much he charges for his ship just out of curiosity all right let's see buy items there it's usually one of the last things nope he doesn't have any all right make an offer for the life form ship uh 326 000, it's only a 16 slot it's just big for nothing <laughs> oh well all right let's get up in here and see where we can go I do have some fuel in my hyperdrive, so that's pretty cool. And now I should be able to go to any system, any kind of system I want to. So I want to go to, I think it's the blue, the B or the O class. I think those are the big ones. Uh, let's see, how far can I actually jump? First of all, let's go toward the galactic core and just see. I can actually follow the path a little bit. It seemed to be going around this way, so can I actually jump this far? Let's see if it would let me. Actually, it would. Wow. That's pretty insane. Okay, we're going to be looking for a blue store, I do believe. Blue stores, blue stores. I see red, yellow. There's a blue one. What class? It's an O zero. We've been the O class before without without theta though, haven't we? Let's see. Maybe we can find something a little bit more harsh. This is an O three. I don't know what the the actual number stands for when it says O. But we'll see here. Maybe that's a difficulty I don't see anything in the notes that I've been looking at around the, about that though looking for I wonder if I'm too far out yet because this is pretty darn far that's definitely a blue that's an 07 too far to jump okay <laughs> we did go a little bit too far there alright let me find something to jump to you guys all right, guys, so this is an O9. It only has one planet, but the surrounding stars, the blue ones that I've been looking at, are actually one planet as well. Look, 
Here's a blue one right here. This is one planet, and that's an O0. This is another one, and it's one planet, and it's an O1. This is another one planet, but it's an O9. I have no idea if that number goes with the class as far as difficulty, but we're going to go for the highest one, and we'll see. So we'll engage for this one. Um, and that's like 1,500 light years away, which is almost the maximum distance you can travel with the Theta. And it's kind of towards the galactic path. Even though the galactic path, you kind of have to go from segment to segment to really figure out how far you get. But we'll see. And there's a space anomaly. That's perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay. So let's take a look at the space anomaly, and we should be able to get... Um, good old boy to give us something. I hope it's Atlas Pass V2. I have no idea what is behind the V2 doors. I've been very selective on what to read about this game because I don't want any real spoilers. Basically when I get to a point that I'm stuck, I like to read a little bit and I'll search specifically like when I couldn't understand about uh, the upgrades for the hyperdrive and why I wasn't getting them. I researched and found out there was bugs and what to do. When I didn't know about um, the uh, the level of survival, and I couldn't figure out what to do, I decided to read about it. So um, that's pretty cool. Anyway, we're here. Hello, gentlemen. Yeah, I look a little bit more savvy today. It's because I have survived. Uh huh. What you got for me, Polo? Tell me something good. Tell me something good. I should have room, so... Yeah, let me talk to him. Transmit survival data. Extreme survival level 3. Polo seems unconvinced by my claims of longevity, wondering aloud if I'm not some sentinel rep made replica. <laughs> Alright, so... He gives me a warp reactor sigma, which is already known. I don't understand. I really don't understand. He was supposed to give me something good. I thought I would get something impressive. He gave me something that I knew like two years ago. What kind of stuff is this game? Purchase ship tech, 80,000 units, weapon tech or suit tech. I think, I, I, I don't want to purchase anything from him actually. <laughs> Cause I don't know what it is. Uh, let's see, this looks like a huge gun. Uh, 148,000, it is two slots bigger than what we already have, and honestly, I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, they have some decent upgrades on this, but nothing real crazy. Nothing that I don't already have from the looks of it. Alright, Entity Nada, I suppose you can send me not to a black hole, because I already know that, but we'll go to the next Atlas Stone and we'll start progressing that route again. Uh, let's see. Shortcut to the center. Nope. Resume the path of Atlas. Alright. Marks the position of an Atlas interface. Likely it's going to be in a little tame system. That's how they usually are. And the path of Atlas is kind of, uh, from what I've seen, it's F-class stars. So I guess you don't really need to do the upgrades to get all the way to them. I'm really not sure how it works, but... We could take a look at here. There we go. Atlas interface. So I can just go directly to it and naturally it's yellow. We'll go get the Atlas stone though. <laughs> we'll go get the Atlas stone. So I'm pretty sure that this is going to be the next few things I have to do is just collect Atlas Stones and go closer to the center. But I think that is going to be it for today, guys. I hope y'all learned something. I sure did. <laughs> and I stayed a little while off off um, AFK so I can get those survival levels. So that's probably what I would suggest you do if you really want to. Just to get that survival level when you get to that point. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be it, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zuljan signing off. And we'll see you next time.